We're now back in our 001 first floor structural plan. And what I've done, I've added some new beam framing systems just here. So if I zoom out a little bit, we're in that top corner there where we were before. So the staircase hole in the slab is here on the first floor, when of course we do place that slab. Let's have a look here at this framing system. Now, when you put beams and the framing system in place, these small beams are classed as joists. They're joining the primary beams together to form a more stable structure. So these joists are actually pinned. So if I click on one of these, like so, you'll see the little pin symbol appear. And what it will also do is it will show me any related warnings. So for example, if I click there, it's telling me that it might be slightly off axis, for example. Now it could be slightly off axis and we'll zoom in and have a look. And you can see there, yes, it is ever so slightly. You can just see that on the actual central line there. That's easily changed with editing and using the editing tools in Revit. And we'll worry about that later. What I want to show you is how to unpin those joists so that you can extend them. Sometimes you do need to extend a joist to a different beam or over to a different joist to form a slightly different framing system. Now, for example, we've got a framing system in here, and it may be that that's framing a hole in a slab there. So that means we need some support underneath the slab here. So what we might do is select this joist here, unpin it, and what I can do now is I can click on the little button there, drag that, and when it gets to this one here like that, it highlights, I release, and that joins it. I can then repin it, and it joins that framing system again. Now, again, I'm getting that warning. That's because it's slightly off axis. Don't worry about that too much. That can be edited later. But what we've done there is we've actually joined that together. So if I hit Escape a couple of times now, that joist goes all the way across. Let's do the same with this one. So we select it. It's pinned at the moment. We click there on the little button. Just drag the end of the joist across to this joist here. That joins like so. If you click on the little pin there again, it repins it, and again, it's slightly off axis. That was probably when we placed the bracing framing system earlier. So I'll just hit Escape there now, and as I've said before, we go to the 3D view just to check what that looks like in 3D. So if I zoom in there now, there's our bracing there. So I'll just zoom in nice and tight. And as you can see there, look, they've gone through that primary beam there to join that joist there. Now, what we need to be careful of, obviously, with joints like that, is making sure that the join is sorted appropriately. And we'll look at joining beams and joists and things later on in the course.